man. Look, my name, my name, Willie Mac, Willie Mac Jr., aka Bo Willie, and I'm a tattoo artist. I've been tattooing for about almost 20 years now, so you know, I'm kind of a veteran now. Tattooing, what got me into it? Um, I will say, during during the time I started tattooing, uh, was like the high boy era. So, so I mean, it, it it wasn't really popular, but it was on the verge of getting popular. You know what I'm saying? You know, so so uh, different people like like I say, uh, Allen Iverson. And, High boys and stuff, you know, like they kind of inspired people to want to get it, you know what I'm saying? So, um, what else I would say? And my sister, my sister, she started getting tatted. So, when I, when I seen it, you know, like it, it, it kind of, you know, inspired me to want to do that because I had been drawing since I was like five years old. So, every day I would draw and draw and draw different things. And other people, like people that, uh, wanted tattoos, they would come to me, man, what do you mean, can you draw something up for me? So, you know, I did it every day, I did it for fun, I did it because I loved it, you know, so it was, it, it was brewing, you know what I'm saying, so, but I mean, like I started getting tatted at 14, so, so when I started getting it, that really turned me on to it, you know, but, but, uh, when I started getting tattooed, okay, like, I was like 14 years old, the guy that tattooed me and whatnot, you you would kind of know like the areas, the South, you know what I'm saying? And during this time, it weren't no black tattoo shops. It wasn't no black tattooers, you know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 it was brewing, you know what I'm saying? And the guy, uh, I asked the guy, man, you know, like it's this hard, you know? And like, like he didn't know nothing of my talents or my drive and dedication or whatnot. I, I guess he just, you know, maybe seen a young black guy and I mean, you know, I guess the, the money was good to get spent, but it wasn't, it wasn't no, no, like he kind of shut me down, like, nah, it's, it's hard, you know, and it really was, like, when I, like, when I tried to get into it, it wasn't no internet popping, it wasn't, you know, like, you, like, you really had to go above and below just to get the proper equipment, so, with that being said, I made my own tattoo machine. You know what I'm saying? Like they had like uh, the Latinos, you know what I'm saying? A few come come through and, and I seen how they made the tattoo machines and whatnot. So so from that point on, I'm like, well, if, if you're not gonna show me how, I'm just gonna take the initiative to do it on my own, you know? And, and, and that was the approach, you know, as far as getting into tattoo. Yeah. So I mean like, like, I got my first tattoo at, like, at 14, and it was uh, 1995, you know what I'm saying, like, for, for Christmas. And uh, I would say, from that point, I paid more attention to the, the, the things that it took to do a tattoo and, and whatnot. And, and I mean, just one day, you know what I'm saying, like, it's it just that I decided to, to, to take the first step, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I made my own because it wasn't nowhere where I could get one. I couldn't afford it. I was poor. And that's what kind of thrust me into it anyway because when you're back against the wall, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I mean, I was the youngest, youngest of the kids and I was poor. So my my mother had took a turn, you know, like sick, sickly and whatnot. So she was, she was the breadwinner and, and, and I mean, bread was coming slower, you know what I'm saying? So, so I needed some bread, and I mean, that was a way for me to to at least try, because I already love drawing. I already I did it every day for, for no reason. And during class, I'd do my work and, and, and draw on, on whatever piece of paper I had left, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, that, that was the motivation right there, just art, period. Art, it was just a new canvas. My first tattoo that that I that I got. Ooh, man, it's so old. I covered it up, man. I just covered.
covered it up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when I was when I was young, I didn't have no guidance. So I mean, I, it was more a lot of different things, you know, experiments. You know what I'm saying? But uh, for the most part, you know, I didn't like doing things that I knew were wrong. Again, you know what I'm saying. So when I made the mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't, I, like I didn't repeat those. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I took it out. You know what I'm saying? You know, tabulated it. And uh, should I just put it in my mental, you know, computer and whatnot, and just, just knew, okay, look, this is, this is part of the process. You know what I'm saying? Uh, getting them, you know, watching other people do them on me. Like, I, you know, I mean, I, I took other people's blueprint as my own. You know what I'm saying? But but that's just like any child in the weary land, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you find, you try to find something to cling on to. So like I said, like I, I used to look at books 24-7, uh, Asian style, Latino style, white people, new school, old school, all these different things, and they pulled my attention in different places. But when it came down to tattooing, I'm looking at their diagram and it didn't work for for me you know what I'm saying it didn't work for for us because it didn't you know show the the beauty that it did on okay like say like with the Latinos and whatnot they, they use fine lines you know what I'm saying and these fine lines the darker it is on person the, the harder it is for it to actually be seen so it took me a while to realize that I couldn't do things so small. I couldn't do things uh, with so little lines, you know? And, and I mean, it, it just was a, a, a process. But like when I started tattooing myself, it's like other people see like, oh man, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? Can I get one? And shit, you know, I was like, yeah. So. Like all my peers and I play ball, football, basketball everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So those are the first guys that I'm dealing with. And when they go places, it's like they telling people, Damn, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, it just became a, 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 a Verizon style network, you know what I'm saying? Like one person telling next thing. And it's still like, that's how I operate business, you know what I'm saying? Like I know that your work is your reputation. So. I try to keep my work, you know what I'm saying, top notch. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like I don't, I don't want a tattoo if I feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to, like, I'm not gonna take it out on my artwork and my customers. This is forever. I found out that this is the only thing you're gonna take to the grave with you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, all your worldly possessions, you may not never get those. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna stick that in the ground with you. You know what I'm saying? But your but your your tattoos, they they coming with you. You know what I'm saying? Like they gon' they gonna follow you everywhere you go. That's very much so what they try to convince all of us to do, you know what I'm saying? And, and just get into the work field instead of being an entrepreneur yourself, you know what I'm saying? Free enterprise. Uh, the fact of the matter is, it's more, it's, it's showing a person, like if, like if, if you could introduce you, what you do to the next person. See, like, a lot of people just like, we, we might well go back or whatever as far as people feeling like another person's taking off of their plate. I mean, when I look at it, like, okay, like, I've, I've worked with some of, some of New Orleans' hottest tattoo artists in some of New Orleans' hottest tattoo shops. And, I mean, what I found out is there's enough room for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I mean... Uh, 
no matter what, the, 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 the fact of the matter is, here, look, even in here, it, it's, it's like a classroom setting. And even when I was in my classroom setting, it was a competition. So uh, we really come in here and we inspire each other and we compete. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it don't have to be spoken, okay, that I'm on your ass today. But today I came here to be the best. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, uh, that's what I tell all my guys. Like, like here, here at, and I, I would say that, yeah, me and my wife, we started it, but we are a, 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 a conglomerate of, of individual bosses. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's his own boss, he's his own boss, he's his own boss. And I mean, the fact of the matter is, uh, when you're your own boss, you make it happen. Like I can't, I can't get them to come here and and be the best unless they want to be. You know what I'm saying? So, but what? But like, really, we inspire each other. We we teach each other. You know what I'm saying? We learn from each other. And, and I mean, that's what it's about. You know, really giving someone that 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 inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if it was like I like I take on. Uh, apprentices all the time and depending on who you are I mean this is the lion's den you feel what I'm saying and if you want to come in come in here and eat you have to be a lion you know what I'm saying so 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 really and truthfully the guys that's wound up next to me those were the ones that weathered the storm that didn't get discouraged you know because I mean it's everywhere it's everywhere someone's going to tell you what you can't do you know what I'm saying but but here you know what I'm saying? Like, I try to get these guys to be the best that they can be. You know what I'm saying? And it's not about, it's not about them uh, being the best artist or the one that can do the portraits the best or the freestyle. Or not, not. It's about completing your objective. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I tell my guys, it's, we make things simple yet complex. Meaning, you knock out the simple things first. You know what I'm saying? You perfect it the simple things and everything from that point on is, is a process you know what I'm saying like you, you you have the right foundation and the right you know uh blueprint you're gonna make the right structure so like I get them to to focus on being neat you know what I'm saying uh, uh different things like uh perfection that's that's very much the goal in everything you know what I'm saying like if you're not trying to perfect your craft, you're not dedicated. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I try to tell them, okay, look, uh, if you have to go over a line twice, it's not one line, it's two lines. You know what I'm saying? So, if you can get it right the very first time, boom. You know what I'm saying? And, like, and it, it, it's really, like, something that, that we all proud ourselves on because we accomplished that. You know what I'm saying? Once you accomplish the the little things, you know what I'm saying? The, the 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 complex things, they all fall into fall into you know, like everything fall in line. Like you know, it's just a process. It's like you learn to crawl, to walk, to run, to jump. You can fly from that point on. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's just you know, it's it's crazy because like I've been doing this for like I said, 20 years. And the guys that's next to me, they've been doing it for less time, but they still inspire me. They still give me, they still give me game, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know, and, and that's what a, 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 a well all machine is supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? Work with, with the other components so we can all get better, you know what I'm saying? So, real talk. I mean, I'm I'm kind of a spontaneous person, no lie. I mean, uh, like opportunity, it's just it's just about being ready for opportunity. I'm always ready, and, and, and I mean, uh, as far as to, I mean, it's just just being ready, you know. And cause see, like every day we deal with new people, and I keep it in my mind that okay, that that the person that's getting tattooed. You are special, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I appreciate when a person, like, 
travel. Like I have a lot of people they travel to come and get a tattoo. And I mean, like that's that right there is is respect. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you pass up five, six different tattoo shops, five, six different artists and whatnot, you dig up uh, five, six different cities to come in, I mean like like that's appreciation and I tell my customers that I appreciate it. And the, the best way to show my appreciation is to give them the very best that I can be. You know what I'm saying? And, and I mean really and truthfully through that, I've met so many people that you never know who's gonna come through that door. Like I done had a, a few superstars, you know what I'm saying, get tattooed by me. And I mean, I've tattooed superstars when they weren't superstars, when they were just normal people and then became that. But my work is my reputation. And I understand that the minute they walk out that door, they not walking out with just a tattoo for them. They walking out with a piece of me, you know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, the, I gotta represent myself correctly, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and that's, that right there is the inspiration, like to, to know that, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, uh, the right person to see your stuff. So like, I mean, like really the, the sky's the limit as far as where we gonna go. I mean, as long as we dedicated, like, you know, Lord knows who might come through the door again. You know, I tattooed Boosie, I tattooed Odell Beckham. I tattooed so many uh, local talented football and basketball players that they all over the world now. You know what I'm saying? It's too many to name, you know, but through it all, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the, the people that show that they dedicated to my work, that I show, you know, my dedication back, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I appreciate that.